will come back. In this video, we will implement phase net recognition and TensorFlow. First things first, you need to install your CUDA driver for GPU support. Refer this documentation for Linux and Windows setup. These are the requirements. Then, we need to download the code from this GitHub and download the model from this site. Assuming that you have downloaded the two files, let's extract them. Then inside the FaceNet TensorFlow folder, we will create a folder named Align Image. Also a folder named Class for storing classifier.pickle. Then we will create another folder named model for our model then another folder named train img for persons to be recognized then we will move this model to the model folder we created earlier. Inside this trained IMG folder, we will add pictures of person we need to recognize. I have these two folders. Inside has 100 pictures each. I will just copy this to train img folder for better result on training our model each folder should have the same quantity of pictures on it like this one i have 100 images here and this one i also have 100 images then we will install all the requirements to run our face recognition program. First, we need to install this OpenCV country Python. Then we will install this image IO. Then we will install this TensorFlow with GPU support. Install SciPy. Finally, we need to install this scikit-learn. We're done installing all the five packages. We now look into the code. I will open the FaceNet code in my VS Code editor. Let's take a look at face recognition.py. I will explain this 
code a little bit. For compatibility issues on older TensorFlow versions, we need to add this line compat.v1. Then I just use my video file. You can use your zero for webcam. Then we will use this model in David Sandberg's GitHub. Then this should be the pickle file generated inside a class folder we created earlier when we run this data preprocess.py later. There are train images. It's a train IMG. You can play these values here. This is for face detection. You can play also this, the bat size, and the mean size. We load our model, this model.pb. Then I defined my timer as time that time to get the FPS value. These lines will draw a bonding box for each phase detected. I will use the try and accept error handling for all these codes inside of it so that our program will not stop unexpectedly then I just set my threshold value to 95 you can change yours to 50, 60 I just use my 95 if the value is lower than 95 then it will be considered as a known person so I just used a question mark for the name of the unidentified person. If error occurs, then we just print error, but it will not stop the program. We will end our timer with time that time. Then we can get now our FPS. Change this and timer. Then we draw our rectangle or put text for APS in a float. Then display our video. Let's change this to face recognition. If Q is pressed, then it will break and release the video capture cv to destroy all windows we will run this code later but first we need to preprocess our pictures in train img folders let's run this the latest numpy version has a default settings of allow pickles is equals to false We will just load the numpy with a true statement. We will just add this argument here. Change it to true. Save. Let's run again our data preprocess. We have just finished running the data preprocess.py. Now we will run the second stage, the train main.py, to generate this pickle file as our classifier.
we have done training our classifier this pickle file should be available in the class folder we are now ready to run this face recognition that py let's run this oh sorry it's my bad this should not be here let's run again <laughs> 